If you've been struggling with manifesting and, and utilizing the law of attraction to get what you want, well, today's your lucky day, guys, because we're going to go over five surefire steps to manifest anything you want. Stay with me. This is Tom Karen with the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you to level up and become the best version of yourself. Okay, guys, today, five steps. And the good news is they're almost done at the same time. So there's no heavy lifting here. There's not a lot to contemplate. It's just you and what you want. And what stands between you and what you want? Nothing. Not after you get these five steps. Five steps to manifest anything you want. No heavy lifting. First, guys, we've talked about this a little bit, but I, I, I want to hit it one more time. Set a clear intention. Ask for what you want. The way you ask is not out of need, but you're choosing to have it. You're choosing to have this. Let's, let's use money because that's a, that's a very common topic. And you want more abundance. You want more money. You choose to have money. You choose to be abundant. This is your choice. This isn't a need. This isn't asking out a need. You're setting a clear intention. That's your intention. The second thing is you got to, the why is very important. Why do you want it? If it's to pay bills, if it's fear that you can't pay your credit cards, if it's fear that you're going to lose your house or your car or, or, or that you feel insecure, you, this is the wrong vibration, you're not going to get it. This is what trips you up. The why is really important. The why has got to come from love. It's got to come from gratitude. It's got to come from knowing that you deserve it, that you're worthy of it, and that you know it's coming. You don't need it. This is... This is why if it comes from any, any vibration or lack, that's going to hold you up. So very important, clear intention, choose what you want, ask to have it, then the why. The why is critical. With the why, here's a way to get there with the why. If you're struggling with the why, what are the feelings? What would you feel like if you already had it? You need to conjure those feelings now. The feeling of abundance, freedom, joy, peace. Have those now. That's the way you get to the why. Because it's not the stuff, right? A lot of spiritual teachers will tell you, it's not the stuff. It's, because, it's how you would feel if you had the stuff or the love in your life or the traveling or the job or the business that you want to create. It's if you had that, how would you feel? You get these two things right and you're there. It's going to come to you. Clear intention, right? You can't, you can't send out a vague message to the God or the universe. God needs to know what you want. So have a clear intention. If you can provide detail without feeling stressful, meaning if you put some resistance, if you start going in too much detail and you're feeling a lot of resistance, back up. Just do a general thing there. So those are the first three steps, guys. Clear intention. Choose it, right? You're not begging. It's not petitioning. You're not supplicating. You are choosing to have it because you're worthy and you're worth it. It's time, right? It's time to have it. The why you want it is very important. If it's why out of fear, out of lack, out of loneliness, if you want love, out of uh, ill health, you're not feeling well, out of health, that's that you can't get there from there. You gotta, you've got to, it's got to be from, from, what would you feel like if you had it? Oh, if I had, you know, if I had that good health and then feel that you already have it. Imagine yourself doing the activities that you want to do. This is the way to get there. Conjure those feelings. That's what you're going for. It's the feeling place, right? You, how would you feel if you had it? If you had that, 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 if that you, did, you had that good health, how would you feel? What would you do? Okay. Then step four, very important, and as much as you can, thank God for having it. Thank it. Th Think gratitude in advance as much as possible. Gratitude for what you already have, knowing that you already have it, knowing that it's on the way. Not only for that, but other things in your life. As much gratitude as you want. That is such a, such a powerful tool, right? And then finally, you got to let go. You can't be let go of attachment to the outcome. So anything that comes up, even if it's contrary to what you want, celebrate it. Know that you're getting it. Be confident. Stand in your surety and your confidence that it's coming. 
So when you let go, when you let go of the outcome, no matter what happens around you, that, that looks contrary, because we talked about the law of opposites, the law of reversibility in these things. We'll hit those again at, an, at another lesson. Let go of the outcome. Don't get attached either way. Whatever comes up, bless it. Be thankful for it. And for sure, guys, this works. You follow these five steps, it's yours. It is yours. God said to all of his creations, it was good and very good. So whatever position you're in right now, don't look at it as negative. Say, okay, I created that. Now, what, now I choose to create something else because ah, I love that feeling of abundance. I love that feeling of great health. Oh, I love the joy and the peace that I get from that. Thank God for all of it. Guys, this vibration cannot be denied. God will not deny you this vibration. You do this, these five steps, set a clear intention, choose to have it. Be sure you determine why you want to have it. Be sure it's out of a loving attitude. It's, out of, it's not fear. Anything out of love is good. Anything out of fear is going to hold you back. What are the feelings attached with it? How would you feel if you had it? Then go to that place as wish fulfilled, right? Feel from, feel from, from it, not of it, right? Think from it, not of it. Think and feel from that of already happening. Then thank God. Lots of gratitude. Always. Always gratitude everywhere you can. And then finally, let go. Say, I'm fine. I, I already have it. I've already, you've already caught, you already have it. You don't need the manifestation now. You already have the feelings you wanted. This is the beautiful thing. The manifestation will has to come now, right? Everything you were going for, you have. You have the abundant feeling. You have the peace. You have the freedom. You just don't have the physical dollars yet in the bank account, but you don't need it. Because you got to, you've got what you were looking for. Then the money has to come. It's law. It is law. This works. Follow these five steps. Okay, guys, we're going to hit this more. Nice law of attraction uh, discussion today in manifesting. Until next time, this is Tom Karen with the Be Something Wonderful studio of Higher Consciousness. We help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Guys, subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Share and comment on the videos. We would love to hear from you. Yeah. Until next time, this is Tom. See you soon.